Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna take you along as we clean up the bathroom, so let's get to it. So I'm starting off cleaning in our main bathroom, which is upstairs. I had actually already scrubbed down the sink and the toilet earlier in the week, but I'm just wiping down the surfaces here because of course they get used daily and they get dirty pretty fast. And then I'm gonna scrub down my shower. I had been putting off scrubbing my shower all week, so I'm gonna take you along as I do that. And I also wanna share with you in this video my top two motivating tips when I just don't feel like cleaning. So let's start cleaning and then I will share my tips. So my number one tip for staying motivated to clean your house and just to do all the homemaking things is to get yourself ready first thing in the morning or as soon as possible in the morning. You'll notice that I just have on a t-shirt and a pair of jean shorts and I didn't really do anything crazy with my hair, just put it up and I did put on a little bit of makeup, but just doing those few little things helps me feel so much better about myself and helps me feel motivated to get things like scrubbing the shower done and doing the dishes and I just feel like that is the first step in accomplishing more things throughout the day. show you all my curtain hooks real quick. I just got these off of Amazon and they have two sided little slots for you to put the shower curtain on one side and then the shower liner on the other side. And I can't tell you how much easier it is to put the shower curtain up with these little things than my old ones where you had to put them both through the same hook. So anyways, highly recommend those. Now we're moving down to our basement bathroom. This is the bathroom that doesn't get used very often, so I honestly don't clean it a whole lot. But with my husband working from home, we have been using it a lot more, and so I usually just clean the sink and then the toilet, the shower, I will just wipe down every once in a while, but it doesn't get used, so mostly just the sink and the toilet in here.
now I'm going to share with you my second favorite motivating tip. So when I don't feel like scrubbing the shower or washing the dishes, I like to think about the end result. So what is my space going to look like afterwards? How am I going to enjoy it when it is clean? That's what gets me moving and makes me more motivated to get the cleaning done. So if you don't feel like doing something, make sure you visualize what it's going to look like when it's done and how you and your family will enjoy using the space once you get it clean. We got it done. I feel like I need to go cool down because I feel like I just had a big old workout. I'm sweating, but it was worth it. Now I have two clean bathrooms that I will be happy to use and so will my family. And I just want to say thank you for joining me today. And if you haven't been motivated to clean, guess what? Every new moment is a chance to take the next right step. So if you haven't started, just think what is the next thing I can do and get doing it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.